Continuing with our previous discussion on tips and tricks, shapes 4, where we talk about two specific areas. One is merging shapes, the new thing that has come in 2013 version of PowerPoint and text editing shortcuts. So if you are using shapes, of course you'll be adding text to it. So what are the shortcut keys which will allow you to do faster text editing? Let's see. First with merge shape. Now if I draw a couple of shapes, before I can demonstrate what do I exactly mean by merging shapes, let me draw this rectangle. Perfect. Let me press Ctrl D at least one more time. Once I have these three shapes, notice I choose all the three shapes. I go to Format tab and a section towards the left hand side which is called Merge Shapes. Yes, Merge Shapes. There are five subsections. I'm just going to hover my cursor on these five subsections. Notice the first one says Union. It combines all the three and makes into one shape. When you talk about the next one, it looks so wonderful. In fact, the different geometrical shapes when you combine with different combinations of merging, either union or combine or fragment or intersect or subtract. Various different kind of outputs which you could have never imagined in the earlier versions of PowerPoint would come up on your screen. So in case, Let's say I want to draw a particular rectangle and I want to use the shift key down to be able to draw a symmetrical rectangle. I draw that, I go to insert, I go to shape and I draw a perfect circle. So I keep shift key pressed and start drawing it. Now if I want to ensure that these two are combined, I may choose both these particular shape, go to format tab, shapes. Within that, I have the merge option. Notice the union or the combine or the fragment intersect or subtract. How they give you different set of results which are very interesting depending on the situation where you want a certain shape and of course you would not want a Adobe Photoshop or any other complex software for your daily work like this. We have spoken at length about the various tips and tricks on shapes. Now we come to text editing shortcut keys, especially with respect to shapes and see how quickly you can add, edit or delete the text in the shapes that is present on your screen. Let's find out. For demonstration purpose, let me draw a particular shape. One of the most popular ones, the rectangle. Let me ensure the shape fill is no fill and the border is little more prominent. Correct. Now once I reach to this stage, I may want to replicate couple of rectangles. I'm going to use the align part which allows me to align or instead I can select this shape, shift control pressed as we have seen in the earlier videos and then I can ask my mouse and use that mouse to draw one more shape so that they are in alignment. So if I want them to be equal distant, then choosing all the shape, go to format, align and distribute vertically. Now what happens is, once I keep on pressing tab key, tab key, yes tab key, it chooses all the shapes one by one and if you press shift tab key, it also goes back in the same direction but in the opposite direction, so where it came from. So tab key allows you to move forward and select all the individual shapes one by one, shift tab key allows you to go back. Now once you have selected the shape where you want to enter some text, you press F2, then start typing in certain phase 1, phase 1. Now since the text may be in white, hence you are not able to see that on my screen, so I press Ctrl A and immediately change the font color size, phase 1. Now I go press Tab key, but notice I have not come out of that particular rectangle, hence tab key is actually getting applied to the text part. So I press Ctrl Z and I then press escape once and then again tab key. So that escape is also necessary so that you can toggle to the next shape. Press F2, phase 2, Ctrl A and of course changing the font color. Press escape, then tab key, it allows you to go to the next shape where again I press F2, this time phase 3. Control A to help me choose all the text within that shape and again choosing the font color. Now if I press escape twice, 
it deselects everything and we are back to the normal slide selection. So tab key and let me just add shift tab key, shift tab key that allows you to toggle back to where you came from in the previous shape, then F2 to enter the particular shape, escape to get out of it so that the text doesn't get modified. So those are a couple of shortcut keys which is going to help you in editing the shapes text boxes.